Hey guys, so today I have my April favorites for you, and I didn't do a March favorite, so this is kind of encompassing of both, and there still aren't that many. I'm really bad at favorites videos. I feel like other people do loads and loads and loads of favorites, but I know only have a few things, which I think is, I guess, more telling, because I only loved a few things. Anyway, firstly, I wanted to announce something that I am now a part of, and that is called Sublime. And for those of you who may have heard of it, I have a couple friends who are also involved. Um, it is a site where you can create kind of campaigns, which are basically lists of your favorite things, and then um, you guys can go check them out, see what I have to say about them, click through to buy them, and also, if you follow me on there, you're going to be eligible for giveaways and discounts and things like that in the future. So, I just wanted to tell you guys about that real quick. Um, this whole list, everything on my favorites this month will be in that my first uh, April Favorites campaign and you'll be eligible. I'm not sure what the first giveaway is going to be yet. I'm thinking something like Amazon because of uh, one of the products or one of the things I'm going to mention in this video I think would be a good way to get a hold of that product. I'll talk more about that later. Anyway, if you want to go subscribe to me, you can also subscribe to some of my friends on there and you can check out what we're loving. And I'm a list fanatic, so I think it's a really cool site and um, it's just really nicely organized, I think. So if you're interested, definitely check that out. And now on to the actual favorites. So I'm going to do beauty things first because I only have three. Um, the first one is a foundation and it is, ooh, fancy. Um, it is the uh, YSL... Le Tinte Touche Eclat. It is um, the YSL, same as the little like under eye concealer thing. It's that foundation and I'm in the shade BR10 and it matches really well. It's a lot thicker than I'm used to wearing as foundations go, but I've been really liking it because my skin's been not super great lately. So I've needed um, a slightly more higher coverage foundation than what I normally wear. And this has been doing the trick. And um, it was really expensive, but this bottle is freaking huge and I don't use very much of it. So I have a feeling this is gonna last me for ages and ages. So that's good. Next is this nail polish and Estee of Essie Button had this and I fell in love with it. And it's um, Nails Inc. Baker Street. It's just a really bright blue and I think it's a lot of fun. It'll be great for summer, nice giant pop of color. Also, I think Nails Inc. shades have pretty good staying power on my nails. And the final beauty product is this and this is the NARS Eyeshadow Duo in Portobello. And it's just two totally matte, um, kind of satiny feeling uh, shades. They're really neutral, and I've been wearing a lot of really neutral looks for the most part lately. Um, and yeah, I think this is just really great for a simple look, really easy. I use the lighter one all over my eye and then the darker one kind of in the crease. So I've been loving that. I forgot about a beauty product, but I apologize. And this is the Rimmel Apocalypse in Stellar. I wore this in, I wore it in another video, I think, and a lot of people were asking about it. I'm in love with it. I think it has great staying power, though I do recommend making sure you look in the mirror because when it does come off, it's not pretty. Um, I'm one of those people who doesn't like wearing bright shades because I hate the upkeep and this definitely requires a bit of upkeep, but it's super simple to put on. It's not like a lipstick where you have to be really fussy. You kind of just put it on, clean around the sides and you're good to go. Um, but it's really fun. It's a bright pinky coral shade, corally pinky shade, red shade. I don't know. It's just bright and fun and I love it. And now into fashiony things. I have three fashiony things. The first one is a scarf that I got ages ago, but I've been wearing a lot this spring and it is this pull and bear one and it's it looks like this and it's um an infinity scarf, scarf, a circle scarf, and I just think it looks really interesting on. So yes, this is a favorite. I can't find this online anymore, but I thought I'd tell you about it anyway, because they come out with some really cool scarves at Pull and Bear. On to the next fashion thing, and they are my Gap Boyfriend jeans. Um, they look like this. They're just kind of classic blue boyfriend jeans. They hit just above the ankle. I like rolling them up. Um, super easy to wear. I like them. Yeah. And the final fashiony thing are my moccasins. Um, I got these, you might remember seeing them in a haul a while ago. I got these Minnetonka moccasins back in December when I was in the States. And uh, I think they're gorgeous and it's actually been really sunny. Um, we had a, like a week of really good weather and so I could finally bring these out and um, wear them and I wore them a ton. And now it's back to being really cold. But whatever, I got some use from them and I'm excited for them this summer. But yeah, they're just really, really pretty, really fun to wear. And now on to some randomy favorite things. The first one is um, a cereal, which is weird, but it's Jordan's Country Crisp with strawberries. And I've been eating this like a maniac. It's so good with almond milk. I love it. Um, it's just really good. It's kind of granola-y, uh, cereal-y, and also has some really good dried strawberries. And I usually don't like 
fruit, um, like dried fruit and cereal, but this one's really good. Another favorite is my hair. I made a video about it the other day, but I love my hair. I've been loving it. I think it's a lot of fun. I've only had it for like a week, but it's still good. My next favorite is the Disney College program. If you want to know more about that, I made a whole video on my, um, my main channel and it's about I got accepted to the Disney College program as an attractions cast member in Disneyland and I'm so excited and I've spent so much time just thinking about it and planning for it even though I don't move till August and I'm real excited. And the final favorite you will know if you follow me on any social networking site because I've been talking about it so much over the past two months and it is Veronica Mars. I actually wanted to do a giveaway of Veronica Mars for my Sublime giveaway but uh, it would have had to be only for US people for various like legal reasons or something they said. But I figure if you win and get the Amazon gift card or whatever, you can pick it up yourself if you want and check it out. Um, or you can get anything else you want. It's not required. But Veronica Mars is amazing. Uh, I made a video about how Veronica Mars ruined my life as well. I'll link both of the videos I mentioned in the description. And that is all for me. Sorry, this video is a tiny bit long. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'm almost done with exams, so I'll hopefully be occupying this space a little bit more. If you guys don't know, I have a ton of social networking sites, Twitter, Tumblr, um, Instagram, all those. They'll all be linked down below if you don't follow me on them, or you don't have to follow me on them. Do what you want to do with your life. And with that, I'll see you guys next time. La, 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 la.